Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energenic here, back with another video. So for today's video, guys, I'm gonna be giving you snipe filters for the new Flash six packs that just came out. So these packs came out like a couple hours ago, but I was streaming, so you know I didn't get a chance to record this video. But I'm gonna record a few now, better late than never. So basically, in these packs, we've got Opal Yao, we've got Opal Hito Technical Loop, Pink Diamond Wall, Dang Pau Gasol Jokic, we got Diamond uh, Batum, and Amethyst Ricky Rubio. So I'm gonna show you how to snipe these cards, and then after that, we're gonna look at these cards to see how good they are. So let's just get straight into this video, man. Let's get straight to it. So if you want to snipe um, Yao, I would just use the Opal filter, obviously, but I would go Western because if you go minimum buyout uh, at Galaxy Opal, you're gonna see a lot of Trey Youngs pop up right there. I didn't see any, um, but a lot of Trey Youngs were popping up for me earlier. But you can use this. You can do it without Western. Honestly, you can. You just have to avoid the Trey Youngs. I don't want to have to deal with that. So I, I would just go Western and you're still gonna see Caruso pop up, which I don't like either, but Caruso is not as frequent as Trey. And then if you if you enable, if you have Trey and you enable it, then you're not gonna see him. But some people were saying that if you enable, then you're a little delayed. I, I can't confirm that, but I'm gonna be on the filters to see if I you know can get a snipe while filtering out Caruso. We'll see what happens. But Trey is gonna be the, the player you will see the most, but this is how you can snipe either Yao Ming or um, what's his name? Hiru Turkoglu. So yeah, I would just do this if I were you. And if you want to filter out Trey, you want to filter out Caruso, then you can either buy them and enable, or you can you know go Western or you know divisions, or if if you want to, if you want to do divisions for Yao, that that'll be Southwest. So yeah, good luck with that, man. But we're gonna get into the next filter. So the next filter is gonna be a Flash Six filter, which is uh, it's gonna be a Pink Diamond. So we're gonna go Pink Diamond, and we're gonna go Theme Flash Six. Now, I'd say Flash 6, Pink Diamond, right? And then, who are the players on here? There's uh, Pau Gasol, and then there's the... Uh, who's the other player? And Luol Dang. So, what you want to do... Pau Gasol is not a buy now. So, basically, it's just going to be... You're going to find the cheapest Luol Dang. So, I'm just going to go max buyout. And I'm going to find whatever the cheapest Luol Dang is. Let's see. All right, he's, he's less than 40K. You're, you're basically just going to be sniping Luol Dang on his filter. But, I mean, obviously, if you're going to be sniping low all dang you might as well have Pau Gasol on the filter as well so let's see how cheap low all dang is gonna be all right he, i think he's in a 20k range around there let's bump this up a little bit to 20k all right a little higher than 20k and once we find them we're gonna adjust the, the filter accordingly 24 okay a little lower but we got you know you got to do some guess and check here to see what his price is like all right 23 it looks like he's around 23 so Low all thing is around 20, 22. He's 22,000 MT. So because he's 22,000 MT, I would put my max buyout to like around 17K. Like that's good. Because if you buy him for seven, let's say you get one for 17K and then you sell him for 22. It's going to take 10% off of 22, which is 2,200. Yeah, so you'll still make profit. So I'd go 17K in the max buyout. Maybe you can bump it up a little bit if you want to. But I would go that pink diamond flash six. And then just refresh like this, you know, keep refreshing and whatever you buy, you, uh, whatever you see, you purchase it and then you flip it. So the Luol Dangs, you can see anything from 17K below. You can also see a Pal Gasol, but the odds are very low. But like I said, if you're going to be sniping the Pink Diamond Flash six players, you might as well give yourself a shot at sniping Pal Gasol because you really never know. You can get a Pal Gasol for 500 MT on this filter if, if one were to go up for that much. So yeah, use that filter and good luck to you. All right, so for the next filter is gonna be Pink Diamond Glitched. Now, we're at the point of the game where they've released enough flash sets that the glitch filter is actually not bad. Like these guys actually, uh, there's actually a lot of players on here. Um, but the one that's gonna give you the most profit are, is obviously the Giannis. If you, see if, Gian, if you see Giannis, that's insane. But you got Giannis, LeBron, Ben Wallace, Jokic is on here now. And uh, is that it? I think there's one more that I'm forgetting. Or that might be it, that might be it. Yeah, but Jokic is right there. Look at this, ending at 800, 800K with an hour left. That's insane, bro. Whoever Jokic that is, that man is probably screaming with joy right now. But basically, you're just going to go Pink Diamond Glitched, and you're going to go uh, Minimum Bio. I do want to see how much the Ben Wallace is going for, though. So I'm going to put Position uh, Small Forward just to see how much of a profit you're going to get. Okay, yeah. So even if you do see Ben Wallace, you want to pick him up, too. 
So any player you see, you want to pick them up. Pink Diamond Glitch, minimum buyout. Keep, keep increasing and just stick on this filter. I don't know what are the odds of you, you know, getting an actual snipe on this filter, but I assume that the Opal filter will be more populated than this, even, even though this one will be probably a little competitive. So give this filter a shot if the Opal filter isn't working out for you and you know just see what you can get if you don't want to have to worry about hesitating on anything you can go on this filter and for sure whatever you see is going to be a snipe so you don't have to worry about that okay now another filter if you want to snipe hidu turka glue and you want to snipe uh shack you can go color opal and then just go theme glitched and then you know you can see shack and hidu on this filter so those are the only two opal glitch players so you can see those two um hidu He's uh he'll he'll definitely make you profit. Shaq obviously is insane. This man's still ending at over a mil. The odds of you seeing a Shaq are th I think very rare, bro. But you know, just go opal glitched and then just increase the buyout. And then you know, you'll probably see a lot more heroes than you will Shaqs if you see any Shaqs at all. Spend some time in this filter too. And you know, if you guys get anything, bro, I would love to see it on my Twitter DM. So just send it to me. My Twitter's in the description, so you can definitely uh, send it to me through there. But um, we're going to get into the collection. I want to look at some of these players, what they look like and stuff. So we're going to go Flash 6. We're going to look at Yao, Hidu, uh, probably, but not Batum, Pau Gasol. But let's look at Yao. Let's see how good he is, bro. To see if he's actually worth picking up. We'll compare him to Kareem. So, yeah, he's got what? He's got 98 post fade, 98 post hook. He's got 98 mid range, 84 3, 95 free throw, 85 driving dunk, 98 standing dunk. His passing is not really that good. His block is 98, 98 interior defense, 98 rebounding. He's, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's not a bad card. He doesn't. Let me see. 41 Hall of Fame badges, 10 gold. Okay, so he's got more than Kareem. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, volume shooter, drop stepper, quick draw, ice and veins, hot start, chase. Down Artist, Rim Protector, Box, Defensive Leader, Hot Zone Hunter, Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Interceptor, Green Machine, Rebound Chaser, Pogo Stick, Pulse Move, Lockdown, Worm, Back Down Punisher, Deep Hooks, Deep Fades, Quick First Step, Clamps, Gold, Pickpocket, Dimer. He has no range extender. So this Yao is good. Would I use him? I probably would. If I sniped him, I probably would use him. Um... But uh, yeah, let's see if I can snipe him. Let's see if I get lucky enough to snipe him. I would probably use him just because I think he, I think he's a better option over Tim Duncan. So yeah, but let's look at Pau Gasol because this is an evil card and I think he would be pretty good. Let's compare him to, I don't know, Dan Issel, why not? But he's got a what, 87.3, that's pretty good. 94 mid range, 94 post fade, 95 post hook, 96 close shot. I mean, his passing is in the 60s. 90 block 91 interior not the greatest 78 perimeter only hey, he's not the greatest rebounder either i mean he's okay 29 hall of fame badges though 15 gold okay let's take a look here quick draw dimer rip protector this, this, this is not a bad card is it a great card i don't think so rebound chaser deep hooks worm post move lockdown intimidator box defensive leader all right, yeah, he has no clamps. He's quick first step bronze. He's got a lot of bronze badges. Range extender. I'm assuming all these ones that are on bronze get upgraded once he's evolved. That's probably what it is. That's what they did with Ben Simmons. But uh, box. No, he had box. No, he doesn't have clamps, bro. I heard he does get clamps though once he's evolved. So if you guys want to evolve him, you can. I don't know the requirements, so you guys would have to look that up. But yeah. So um, we're gonna look at Hidu Turka glue. And then that's probably gonna be it for this video. We gotta go to glitch though for that. So where's that? Right here, glitched. Hidu Turka glue. Hidu Turka glue. All right, let's compare him to KD. KD was the first guy. Hidu has a 94.3, 97.3. Wow, I said 94. 94 mid range, 97.3. I'm stupid. He's got a 90 post fade, 84 post hook, which is not bad. And he's what? He's 6'10 for a point guard, so that's good. He's got decent passing, like low 90s, so that's not bad. 85 driving dunks, 80 standing dunk, okay. 82 block, 88 steal, 92 perimeter defense, 84 interior, decent defender. Um, 80 rebounding, not bad. He's 6'10", so that, you know, that'll help with his rebounding. 92 speed across the board. He's got, what else? He's got 39 Hall of Fame badges and 20 gold. So do I think he's better at the small forward than KD? No. Do I think he's better 
at the point guard than Benner Magic? No. But let's look at his badges. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, pick and popper, acrobat, teardropper, relentless finisher, volume shooter, floor general, ankle breaker, Tyler shooter, slippery old ball, range center, dimer, quick draw, clamps, ice and veins, hot start, hot zone hunter, green machine, intimidator, flexible release, dead eye, clutch shooter, tireless defender, consistent finisher, unpluckable, tight handle, space creator, quick first step, downhill, handles for days, needle threader. A lot of Hall of Fame badges. Uh, for gold, he's got Bailout, Pacific Maestro, Giant Slayer, Stop and Go, Fast Break Finisher, Pogo Stick, Deep Fades, Interceptor, Heart Crusher, Defensive Leader, Pick Dodger, Pump Fake Maestro, Pick Pocket, Break Starter, Put Back Balls, Post Spin Technician. This Hero seems like a decent card. It's not a bad card whatsoever, but I wouldn't use him over Magic or Ben. But I'm definitely going to be trying to snipe. I'm, I'm going to try to snipe these cards. So um, hopefully I get lucky, man. Wish me some luck. But yeah, that's really going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We just hit 15k. We're on the road to 20k now. So I would love it. You know, if we can hit that by the end of the month, that's my goal. But I'm gonna continue grinding, man. I already streamed earlier prior to this video, so there will be no stream tonight. But the stream, there will be stream tomorrow, tomorrow night at five. Okay, so you know, um, just enjoy this video. Watch all my other videos. You know, if you're bored or whatever. But yeah, with that said, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.